Welcome to first and only SaaS News Digest, featured on LinkedIn, covering news, events, and updates that are happening in SaaS community worldwide. This is the video digest number eight. Mohammed Usman Chaudhary, a sales and marketing professional, shared the 2020 LinkedIn State of Sales report, along with the selected highlights from his own related article. See now, LinkedIn is disrupting B2B sales and marketing. Mohammed emphasizes that growing importance of AI in the form of sales intelligence tools, quoting them as being invaluable and showing an amazing usage increase from 28% in 2018 to 43% this year. Make sure to check out Mohammed's article for other key takeaways from this LinkedIn report, including the fact that by 2021, more than half of companies will use LinkedIn for marketing and 88% of salespeople and buyers agree that the trust is the top value. Thanks for this great article, Mohammed, and for connecting us to this useful Gardner report. Melissa R., a sales developer from Aspera, shared the new Gardner report, which covers how to cut software and SaaS cost and quickly improve cash flow in times of crisis. The report has actionable advice and very thorough analysis of the way your company can restructure payment agreements, reduce or terminate shellware support, and postpone audits to save money now if you're struggling with during those uncertain financial times. As Melissa points out, the Gardner report provides an easy-to-follow roadmap for cutting costs and igniting your negotiation power with vendors. Be sure to check out and thanks for the great link, Melissa. Anand Murali Dharan, founder and CEO of Iconic Mindset, shared with us Harvard Business Review article by Scott Edinger titled How to Convince Your Sales Team to Adopt a Subscription Model. This article contains great advice on how to ensure that your sales team has the confidence required to embrace new offerings. Now, to make sure that the team fully understands the go-to-market strategy and also the importance of conveying your commitment to the new company direction. As Anand points out, any SaaS company founders experiencing empty sales cycles or wondering why the company is not growing, you will find an answers in this article. Thanks for the great link, Anand. In this post, Aman Kapadia, managing partner at Akaris Global, shares an insightful slide from McKinsey Company, article titled The Next Software Disruption, How Vendors Must Adapt to a New Era. The graphic compares the possession of SaaS products to software on-premises and illustrates clearly how SaaS has become the primarily software delivery model as we move into the future. SaaS offering has grown from 6% of enterprise software revenue in 2010 to an amazing 29% in 2018, and, as Aman points out, SaaS penetration is still in early innings. Thanks, Aman, for connecting us to this great article. Oliver Molander, founding advisor at J12 Ventures and specialist in deep tech, shared with us some interesting statistics from a Redpoint Ventures article by Hamin Ball titled Clouded Judgment. What it takes to become a public SaaS company, part one. According to the article, every SaaS founder should aim for 90% of a company revenue to be derived from subscriptions and should possess an AR of at least $100 million. The article discusses the key operating metrics and analysis from SaaS businesses that have gone public in recent years, providing an excellent picture of what it takes to do and become successful. Thanks, Oliver, for this insightful link. I hope you enjoy SaaS News Digest number eight. The SaaS Digest belongs to all of us and provides the value to members of our community because of you. Please click on like or insightful button, share the SaaS Digest on your LinkedIn page, and let's work together in developing this community and setting new SaaS global standards. My name is Artem Ghassan. I am the general partner at SaaS Growth Ventures, and my superpower is I feel growth and revenue for SaaS companies. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.